In the midst of a pandemic, final year nutrition and dietetics student Megan Rowley decided it was the right time to launch her passion project, Feel Good Food, in an attempt to keep nutrition and mental health a priority. The whole idea behind Feel Good Food was to inspire and educate others and help remind them that we're able to actually cook and create food that make us feel good and use the resources available. At the moment, there's been a lack of food security due to the pandemic, um, which is constantly changing, where ingredients might be entirely out of stock or the price has hugely changed due to demand. This means that I can't really plan too far ahead for the recipes that I'll be making. It just depends on the resources available at the time. And I want to make sure that I choose a dish that others will be able to make easily as well. So what do you hope people take away from the recipes and information that you share? I hope to remind people that at a time like this, eating well and feeling good go hand in hand and that it's important to take care of your mental health. So how do you really get that message across? I do a lot of research when developing a recipe to make sure all the ingredients react well with us chemically and make us feel good mentally. I'm then able to document and share the process of what I cook using those ingredients, the steps involved and the final product. With most posts, I put up some practical and educational information about how these ingredients are beneficial and also how they can impact your mood. Healthy eating should always be enjoyable, even if you're limited for ingredients, and it can still be classified as comfort food. As long as it's making you feel better, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm.